हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दी थर्ड ट्यूटोरियल ऑन सी एन एन फॉर क्रेडिट कार्ड फ्रॉड डिटेक्शन लेटस बिगिन इन प्रीवियस टू ट्यूटोरियल्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड इंस्टॉलेशन सेटअप इंपोर्टिंग द डेटा सेट एंड डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बिल्ड अवर मॉडल फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डिफाइन एन ऑब्जेक्ट डिफाइनिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट model this is the name of object that we are defining tf dot keras dot models dot sequential execute now add first cnn layer model dot add tf dot keras dot layers dot convolution 1d here we have to specify parameters first parameter is number of filters filters is equal to 32 then the kernel size we will specify kernel size is equal to 2 we will not specify this parameter strides then we have to specify this parameter padding now note down here by default padding is equal to valid but we will specify padding is equal to same then specify the activation function that is relu and after that input shape to confirm the input shape scroll up so this is the input shape 30 1 30 comma 1 let us understand these parameters first we have specified number of filters that is 32 then the kernel size 2 by 2 after that we have specified padding is equal to same there are two types of padding same and valid i found this article on the internet what is the difference between same and valid padding scroll down so this is the valid padding and this is the same padding look here in same padding we are not losing any information this is because a column of zeros is added here this column of zeros is called as padding but in the valid padding we are losing the information information in this column third column so this is valid padding and this is the same padding for more details you can read this article now go back to google colab after the padding we have specified activation function relu activation function brings non linearity into network and at the end we have specified input shape now at the batch normalization layer model dot add tf dot keras dot layers dot batch normalization let us understand batch normalization batch normalization is a technique that we use to normalize the inputs of each layer and we apply batch normalization to fight internal covariance shift problem due to batch normalization layer speed performance and stability of the network increases now add the max pool layer model dot add tf dot keras dot layers dot max pool 1d here we will specify only one parameter this one pool size pool size is equal to 2 that's it as you know that pooling layer reduces the dimensionality of output knowing what pooling layer does the max pool layer just takes maximum value from each patch so we are selecting maximum value here 
and after that we will add dropout layer dropout layer model dot add tf dot keras dot layers dot dropout specify dropout is equal to twenty percent that is zero point two dropout is a regularization technique here we are ignoring twenty percent neurons while training and these neurons are randomly selected. Now copy this, paste, we have to add second CNN layer. Let us check the parameters one by one. We will specify number of filters is equal to 64, kernel size same, padding also same, activation function relu and delete input shape, great. After that we will add batch normalization, no need to change anything here. Then the max pool layer, same. And dropout layer, change 0 0.2 by 0 0.3. We are ignoring 30% neurons. After adding first and second CNN layer, add flatten layer. model dot add tf dot keras dot layers dot flatten great the flatten layer converts array into a vector after that add first dense layer This is our fully connected layer, model.add, tf.keras.layers.dense. Here we will specify two parameters, units and activation function. Units is equal to 64 and activation function, relu. After first dense layer, we will add dropout layer. Copy these two lines. Paste. We will drop 30% neurons here. No need to change. Then add second dense layer. That is output layer. Model.add tf dot keras dot layers dot dense now specify the parameters units is equal to one then the activation function sigmoid that's it we will have binary output Hence we are specifying units is equal to 1 and activation function is equal to sigmoid. Let us execute, scroll up, first CNN layer, batch normalization, max pool layer and dropout layer, run. We have to specify convolution 1D here, this was my mistake, run again. Great. In second CNN layer also convolution 1D. Execute. Great. Then flatten layer. Module tensorflow core dot keras has no attribute layer. So we have to specify layers. That's it. Now execute. F should be capital, then execute, great. I am not removing errors here, so you can understand what mistakes are done and how to resolve that. Then first dense layer, execute, and after that output layer, great. So this is our model. 
first we have defined object then first cnn layer batch normalization max pooling and dropout layer same with the second cnn layer then the flatten layer first dense layer and at the end output layer now check the summary model dot summary execute great you can see same here convolution layer batch normalization max pool and dropout layer then the second cnn layer again batch normalization max pool and dropout and after that flatten first dense layer dropout and output layer you can see shape first it was 30 32 then same 30 32 after the batch normalization 30 becomes 15 so dimensions reduced here also after batch normalization dimensionality reduced then the total parameters trainable parameters and non trainable parameters after building the model we have to compile the model we compile model to configure the learning process now define a variable opt tf dot keras dot optimizers dot adam Adam is stochastic gradient descent algorithm you can see here Adam optimization is a stochastic gradient descent method we will specify only one parameter here learning rate learning rate is equal to 0.001 execute now compile the model model dot compile Here we have to specify three parameters. These three: optimizer, loss, and matrix. Specify optimizer is equal to opt. This is the variable that we have defined here. Then the loss function, binary cross entropy, binary underscore cross entropy. that's it then the matrix accuracy now compile the model great so this tutorial about building the model and compiling the model ends here i will see you in the next one till then happy learning